Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial number formatting in Power BI. So number formatting is uh, very important for the right display of numbers within the Power BI and in this tutorial video I will specifically talk about how you can go inside formatting and then apply different types of formatting that is available to you within Power BI. And this sheet is present in the description if you have landed first time on my channel where you can search for any previous video with their respective links that will help you jump directly to the video. All right, so let me now go into the Power BI and give you an up input about it. All right, so here we have a table that I have shown you in the previous video, and that's about the subtotal and total that we have created. Now, if you see, the numbers is pretty hard for a normal person who is like uh, uh, at a senior level and just want to quickly understand how the values really look like because right now the one has to do an exercise that this is 2.1 million, this is 794,000 and down there this is just 38,000. So it's, it's basically, you know, we are asking them to put more effort rather than quickly consume the information and move out with let's say some decision or some action or some direction that they want to give. For example, what they want to do with labels or rubber bands where the sales is pretty low or do they want to have a different strategy on office machine since the value strategy, since the uh, output is quite high. So in that case, we want to give them a good experience from numbers perspective so that easily and quickly consume the information. And to do that, we are here in the formatting section and what do we have is basically field formatting section where you need to come and choose the field. So right now we only have sales, but if you have like multiple fields, you have a drop down to select from. Once we have selected the field of our interest, we can go inside the display units. We can change this to thousand. So now it will change to the thousand. As you can see, it becomes quite easy for them then use it. Or let's say if you want to change it to millions, but in this case, it becomes really hard for them just to understand what is going on over here. So you can you can basically experiment with this and see which makes sense. So in our case right now, 1000 makes sense since our business is only that much large. Now we have the option whether we want the decimal places or not. So if, I, if you just see that I have changed it, this to a decimal place and this is helpful in only on those scenarios, for example, where it really matters. Right now it does not matter a lot because the value itself is pretty large. So if it is 2.1 million, 0.66 will not going to make a huge difference. So this is an unnecessary information that we are giving it to our end user. So what I suggest is reduce this. This will be useful in scenarios where you are showing the discounting information where you want to know that 5.37 discount you have given, 8.5 discount, point percent or 8%, that, that basically, you know, makes an impact since the value is low and having the 0.5% of additional discount is, is impacting your revenue. So in that scenario, you may find it useful or like profit ratio, like from 10 to 10.5% can be a significant shift from a profit ratio. So that decimal value makes sense in those scenario. All right, so coming back here, what do you have is also the font color. If you want to change the font color or the background color, alignment is also an interesting thing because many people want to have the different level of alignment. Some people want it like the left, some people want center or right. However, by default for numbers, the alignment is right and for text alignment is left. Okay, but if you want to make it center, we can make it center as well because many times i've seen people are asking for this enter alignment because that beautifies the table sometimes similarly we can apply this to our header if if you want to apply it apply to the value or don't apply to the value we can enable or disable it apply to the subtotal and apply to the total so that's the formatting that you can do with which is related to the field formatting down there, you also have the conditional formatting to further uh, use as, uh, uh, you know, indicator to show it to your end user. So like based on the sales, so you want to change the background. So clearly, if you will see, I just enabled that and wherever the sale is high, it is changing it. But you have the advanced control where you can see that based on the field, which field you want to use. So I don't want to use sales maybe i want to use um 
maybe the profit ratio here in this case right so if i just say click ok you will see that value is changed where this is having the high profit ratio this is having a high profit ratio this is having the high for a profit ratio but from sales perspective it is low so that's the reason uh, it's it's not advisable to use the same value sales for displaying it and conditionally formatting it but a different value like here in this case profit ratio that i've used so definitely this is this is an area where you know they may want to have a more energies because sales is high as well as the profit ratio is high then down there you have more options which i will which is more related to uh, whether you want to data bars whether you want icons or web urls which i will show you in a separate video when the information is relevant uh, for for these these perspective because these are useful however require a different slightly different setting and slightly different topic to cover that up so that's quickly about uh, how you can format the fields and do the conditional formatting for the better understanding of your table. Now I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.